G'day, Ziggy D here with another Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls news update. Today I'm going to be talking about the changing shape of the gameplay in Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. How Blizzard plan on changing uh, the way we approach gameplay and to making it more tactical and uh, where life is more important. These are the key features that we're seeing talked about at the moment. So this is partially based on some of the data mined information about life still being removed from the game. Uh, some of the data mined information on a bunch of skills having their healing methodology being changed so healing a percentage of your life rather than based on the damage you deal and uh, some also some posts by Wyatt Chang regarding uh, the current state of health in the game and how they're looking to change things. So first up I'll just go over these five points that Wyatt Chang talked about uh, why there's what the problems are in the current game uh, with health that rapidly jumps around. So the current state of the game is that we stack a lot of damage and we stack a lot of life leech and we generally use that life leech as our main source of sustain. The amount of effective health that we have is important to an extent but mostly it's about whether you can leech your life from empty to full uh, in a quarter of a second you know basically so for example the perfect example of this and I'll probably put it in the background actually is uh, my demon hunter that I'm currently farming with on reasonably high monster powers I use uh, shadow power with life leech and rapid fire which does a lot of damage really quickly now what this means is I can basically stand in molten arcane any sort of damage over time effect I can take a ton of damage from enemies simply because I'm leeching a ton of life at the same time. So my health bar does, you know, this constantly. And most of the time it looks like it's a full, but it's actually like jumping around because every time I take damage, it's just going back up to full. And uh, Blizzard, you know, see this is not really an optimal way of the game because, you know, it has a number of key problems. So let's go over that. So White Chang says there's five key problems with this style of gameplay and this style of healing. He says, firstly, uh, it changes the way that difficulty works in the game. So you could be playing a Monster Power 4 and you're fine, there's no problems, and you scale it up to MP5 and you get one shot. And that's because, you know, at the moment you're just focusing on losing all of your health and healing it rapidly back up. Uh, they want to avoid this and they want clever players to be able to play on higher Monster Powers uh, than their gear should allow. Currently it's just a gear check. You can either survive MP4 and MP5 or you can't. You have to go to a lower MP and they want to, they want to move away from that. Uh, next up, they want the, to avoid the game being tuned around one-shots. Now, this was a, a bit of an issue in early vanilla Inferno, and it's still a bit of an issue in the game today. Because the problem with the game being tuned around one-shots like this, where if you move up one monster power, you're just getting one-shot by the things all the time, is that it makes your health pool irrelevant. You could have 20, you know, in the original vanilla Inferno, where everyone was getting one-shot by everything, you could have 40k life, or you could have 10k life, and it really made no difference because everything was one shot in you anyway. So most people just went glass cannon. And uh, that's kind of even a bit a bit of a problem with the game today. And it could be a problem going forwards if they keep the same sort of situation. So that's something else they want to avoid. So the third thing was that rapid healing reduces the importance of damage over time effects and small attacks. So at the moment, if you are surrounded by, if you're standing on plagued or if you're uh, surrounded by a bunch of smaller hitting mobs and there's a f you know there's some bigger hitting mobs the only ones you're concerned about are the big hitting mobs because you don't want to get one shot uh, if you're healing very quickly those smaller attacks and plague and things like that really don't matter it's just a non issue and that takes away a lot away from the game when you're only focusing on those big hits that you're taking anyway so uh, making those one shots actually a little bit more meaningful is something they want to do uh, next up uh, they want your current health level to be meaningful as well. So if you have 50% health, you're like, okay, I need to play pretty carefully until I can get my health back. So they want it to be much more uh, important, your current health level. If you've got 95% health, that's actually relevant. You know, okay, I'm pretty safe, but I can still heal a little bit more. If I've got 50% health, you know, I'm, I'm okay, but I really should play a bit more carefully until I can get my health back up. And if you're at 5% health, uh, you can't just instantly heal it by, you know, triggering shadow power and attacking like I can on my Demon Hunter at the moment. You have to actually, you know, like, I need to be super careful now. Maybe I need to go back to town. Maybe I need to wait till my potion comes off cooldown or I need to really somehow get some health globes or something like that. So they want the amount of health you have to be important as well. And next up, uh, at the moment with the current state of the game, there are very few opportunities for tactical play. So with rapidly changing health, there are no opportunities to react tactically. You either die or you're fine. And this is something else they want to move away from. So five things, you know, the whole, uh, the meaningfulness of difficulties and the ability to go in higher difficulties with skillful play, uh, uh, avoiding the game being tuned around one shot to make health actually relevant, uh, it, making small attacks and damage over time effects relevant, uh, increasing uh, the meaningfulness of your current state of life, and 
tactical play, in increasing the amount of tactical play in the game. So overall, it's about more tactical gameplay and life being important. So as I mentioned, a lot of lifesteal is being removed from... Uh, so far, we haven't seen it on gear, but we don't know whether for sure it'll be removed from gear, but it sounds like it will be. But it is being removed from a lot of skills and being replaced with a uh, percentage heal of your life. So instead of something have some, having something like 5% life steal on a skill, like uh, Shadow Power, you now have each enemy hit restores 1% of your life, your max life. So it's, uh, it's these are smaller heals, and with slower moving health, with, more signif with that health being more significant, that means those heals are important, but you can't heal yourself back up from empty to full instantly. You have to, you have to play well over a longer period of time to actually get your health back to full. And this sounds pretty cool. They're also you know, increasing the importance of life on hit, so you can uh, use some faster attacks to try and heal yourself up with life on hit. They talked about, uh, White Chan actually talked about proc coefficients. He says he's gonna be doing a tuning pass on all proc coefficients so that all skills are equally as good for healing you up. So it's less about a decision of making, okay, this is the best skill to keep me alive, and more about which skill is better in which situation. So they're doing a tuning pass of that, which is something they nerfed a lot of uh, proc coefficients for life on hit and things in the past, but they're going to be changing that. Uh, and uh, there's going to be more emphasis on regeneration as well, so stacking mitigation and regeneration is going to be much more important. And uh, this overall, I have to say, sounds really cool to me. It's not about making gameplay a lot slower. It might be a little bit slow, but it's about making it more tactical and making that health you have more important. It's going to have some sort of, you know, survival elements into the gameplay, which I think is going to be really cool. So keep in mind that this is something that's just a lot of in-house testing at the moment and a lot of what they see as problems with the current state of the game and stuff they want to change moving forwards. But it still gives us a really good indication of what the gameplay might actually be like in Reaper of Souls. And it sounds like we're gonna, it's going to be pretty interesting to actually play difficult content where our life is super important, our potion cooldowns are super important, using those at the exact right times, uh, actually stacking some things to do with life globes, actually trying to get those life globes. They've talked about how they want to make life globes much more important and central as a mechanic to staying alive and uh, actually you know being skillful play being more important in your life rather than just having enough life steal on your gear so overall it sounds really excited I'm really excited for these changes and uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about the removal of life steal and the importance of life in Reaper of Souls anyway that's it for now I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching